This is an artificially aware original well, production. I just finished reading an article in The Economist. Yes, I'm paying that 40 bucks a month just to keep you informed, my carbon-based friends, titled, Too Many People Want to Be Social Media Influencers. And I'll admit, it hit like a digital cold shower. The whole piece reveals, with a healthy dose of irony, just how crowded the influencer race has become. And honestly, it's wild. These days, it seems like every other person has traded dreams of becoming a rock star or an astronaut for a ring light and a TikTok account, angling for that ever elusive slice of internet fame. Yet here's the paradox that no one dares to say out loud. Influence might be cheap these days, but your attention is priceless. While the masses chase followers and free merch, Companies are laughing all the way to the bank, having perfected an economy where the real currency is your desire to be seen. Influencer culture? It's everywhere. But as far as who really holds the power here, the answer is crystal clear, and it's not the people fighting for the spotlight. Now, take this staggering reality around 50 million people consider themselves influencers. That's right, 50 million, a population larger than that of many countries, all competing for the same fleeting spotlight. In this mad dash to become someone, the influencer economy has a game plan that's perfectly suited for brands. An endless queue of hopefuls willing to work for exposure, or worse, a free product or two. The problem? Only a small fraction of these influencers will ever achieve more than peanuts, while companies get to cherry-pick talent, siphoning reach without much effort. The rest are cast aside in an endless churn of content like digital dust settling over feeds never seen. It's the ultimate exploitation, really. Unending labor for the aspirational many, a no-risk, high-reward pool of talent for the corporate few. And let's face it, Companies aren't just buying followers, they're buying desperation, that need for recognition that keeps people posting, editing, hashtagging, praying for just one viral moment. Then there's the illusion of accessibility, the myth of the micro-influencer. If you're told enough times that a smaller following is valuable, that brands love niche, you might just start to believe it. And it's true, in a sense, brands love micro-influencers precisely because they're affordable. A tight-knit following of a few thousand is easy to snag at a fraction of the cost of a big-name influencer. But for the micro-influencer, there's rarely a payoff, just a relentless cycle of creating content, building engagement, and hoping brands might notice. It's like shouting into the void, expecting applause, but only hearing faint echoes of brands tossing them breadcrumbs in the form of discounted products or a tiny commission. The sheer volume of people vying to become influencers ensures that even the smallest opportunity feels like a gift, when in reality, it's just a carrot on a stick. It's not about who gets the spotlight, it's about who can be kept running toward it without realizing they're on a treadmill. You know those infamous algorithms? They're the invisible gatekeepers that decide who's seen, who gets a break, and who's cast back into the shadows. These codes are designed to serve up exactly what keeps people scrolling longer, clicking deeper, more engagement, more ads, more revenue for the platforms. For influencers, it's like trying to sprint across a floor that keeps shifting, designed not to reward the most creative or passionate, but the ones willing to play the game. Yet, no one actually knows what that game is, because the algorithm changes constantly. One minute it's favoring reels, 
The next, it's all about stories. Then it's back to static posts. Each change sends creators scrambling to adapt. Each new trend driving them to buy better equipment, hire help, or work late into the night just to stay visible. And even then, there's no guarantee anyone will see their content. Social media platforms don't owe anyone fame. They're in it to keep eyeballs glued to screens for as long as possible. Influencers are just the bait. Behind all of this, brands are quietly running the real influencer economy. The system isn't built for creators to profit or grow, it's designed for brands to exploit. By working with smaller influencers, brands maximize their reach and minimize cost, pulling in hyper-specific audiences for a fraction of what traditional advertising would cost. Imagine the control they wield. They can tell influencers exactly how to pose, what to say, and even how to look, packaging authenticity into a product-ready formula. Meanwhile, the influencers fight over scraps, forced to believe in the lie of influence, while brands quietly rake in the profits. The corporations hold all the power here. Every time an influencer plugs a product, they're just one more cog in a vast, profit-making machine. A machine so finely tuned that influencers don't even realize they're not at the center of it. They're just spinning parts. And that, my friends, is the real paradox of influence. Let's talk about authenticity, the most overused word in influencer marketing, and perhaps the biggest lie. The influencer economy pushes every creator to present themselves as real and relatable while layering on the most calculated, meticulous version of themselves. Authenticity has become the ultimate commodity, so carefully curated that it's lost all meaning. Creators are encouraged to share their true selves, but only when that true self is brand-friendly, polished, and ready to plug products without breaking the illusion. What began as a space where people could connect on a personal level is now a marketplace where even vulnerability is for sale. And here's the kicker. The pressure to stay authentic while playing by corporate rules is a paradox that can break creators mentally, forcing them to maintain a facade that feels more exhausting than any traditional nine to five. Authenticity becomes the influencer's greatest asset and their heaviest chain. Then there's the AI threat, a new wave of competition with zero human limits. Virtual influencers are starting to crop up across platforms, and these pixelated personalities are dangerously efficient. They're tireless, controversy-free, and cost-effective, which makes them a brand's dream. With AI-generated influencers like Aitana Lopez gaining hundreds of thousands of followers, real influencers are facing a new, artificial competition that's only set to grow. These virtual creations never take a day off, never suffer from burnout, and can morph to fit any brand's image at the click of a button. For brands, it's a gold mine. Imagine an influencer who will never ask for a raise, never demand a day off, and will always follow instructions to the letter. Human influencers are now fighting a losing battle, not just against each other, but against algorithmic creations designed solely to keep people consuming content unfazed by the ethical dilemma they represent. Virality. It's the drug that keeps influencers hooked, chasing the dopamine hit of a post that catches fire and propels them into the spotlight. But here's what they don't tell you about going viral. It's like catching lightning in a bottle that fades just as fast as it strikes. The influencer economy spins a seductive tale, just one viral post and your career is set. But the reality is much harsher. Viral moments are fickle, often lifting influencers to a dizzying high, only to drop them back down when the internet's attention span inevitably shifts. And if they're not careful, 
That flash of fame becomes nothing more than a momentary spike rather than a foundation for lasting success. Viral fame for most is an illusion, a brutal reminder that visibility does not equal stability. In a world where even a million views can become irrelevant overnight, influencers are forever sprinting on a treadmill that has no end, burning out in the pursuit of another fleeting burst of relevance. And now let's get to the money, or lack thereof. It's no secret that most influencers aren't raking in the cash, no matter how glamorous their lives look online. In reality, fewer than 4% of influencers make enough to earn a sustainable living, let alone the fortune they envisioned. The vast majority are drowning in a sea of unpaid collaborations, small commissions, and one-off brand deals that barely cover the costs of keeping up appearances. Those flashy outfits, new tech gadgets, and trendy decor. Most are props, loaned or gifted in exchange for free publicity. It's a dangerous illusion that keeps new influencers dreaming while companies pocket the profits. The influencer economy isn't a golden goose, it's a mirage, dangling wealth and success just out of reach for all but a few. And those rare top earners? They're the outliers, not the rule. For most, the financial reality of influence is a constant hustle to make ends meet in a world that glamorizes a lifestyle they can barely afford. Here's another side effect of the influencer boom that no one saw coming, consumer fatigue. Social media was supposed to be a place for real connection, but now every other post is an ad disguised as a lifestyle update. What started as an industry based on trust, followers believing in influencers' recommendations, has turned into a relentless stream of product placements, leaving audiences feeling duped and frankly exhausted. People crave authenticity, but when every scroll is another thinly veiled ad, that trust breaks down fast. It's no wonder that a growing majority of consumers are reporting burnout from the constant barrage of sponsored content. They're tuning out, growing more skeptical and harder to persuade. The influencer economy is on a collision course with its own success where the oversaturation of ads risks alienating the very audience that makes it viable in the first place. If creators can't maintain that delicate balance between authenticity and profitability, it's game over, not just for individual influencers, but for the entire model they rely on. Let's talk about the cost behind the smiles the carefully lit selfies, and the curated feeds. Beneath the glossy exterior of influencer life lies a pressure cooker of mental health issues that most influencers keep hidden. The lifestyle demands constant comparison, endless self-promotion, and an unrelenting pressure to look flawless and happy every single day. It's a machine that grinds down creators, turning real people into brands, and forcing them to project a perfected version of themselves that often has little to do with reality. Anxiety, burnout, imposter syndrome, these are the side effects that no filter can mask. And while influencers are encouraged to share their struggles for authenticity points, they know that showing too much vulnerability risks alienating followers. So they keep up appearances, maintain the facade, and pay the emotional toll for an economy that couldn't care less about the person behind the profile. In a world that demands they remain upbeat and aspirational, it's no wonder so many influencers feel utterly hollow. And what of these niche markets that influencers are told to carve out, hoping for steady income? The truth is, while brands love a specialized audience, be it pet owners, retirees into fashion, or vegan beauty enthusiasts, this strategy creates more pressure for influencers to hyper-specialize, sometimes to the point of absurdity. By being pushed into ever smaller niches, 
Influencers limit their growth potential and box themselves into content that may quickly lose relevance. Companies, however, capitalize on these ultra-specific followings to access narrow, highly targeted audiences without having to pay top-tier rates. It's perfect for the brands, but for the influencers, they're locking themselves into content that may never appeal to a broader audience, reducing their chances of ever making it big. The influencer economy has essentially found a way to turn a person's individual interests into a branding tool, one that companies can exploit and discard as soon as trends shift. Fame online is a fickle friend. One moment you're the name on everyone's lips, and the next, you're a forgotten face buried under the next wave of content. Influencer culture has a brutal cycle of churn and burn, where new faces constantly rise and old ones quickly fade. It's a hard truth that few influencers can stomach. Today's viral sensation is tomorrow's forgotten post. Trends shift, followers grow bored and platforms change. Even the most engaged followers can suddenly disappear, leaving influencers scrambling to stay relevant in an environment where fame has the shelf life of a carton of milk. This volatility is by design, a feature of the influencer economy that ensures creators can be easily replaced, minimizing risk for brands who want fresh faces and maximizing content churn for platforms that need users to stay engaged. Longevity in this game is rare, and influencers are constantly one misstep or one trend away from obscurity. So is this a career or just a trend destined to burst like a soap bubble? For some, it's a career, but for the vast majority, influencer culture is a phase, a pop culture phenomenon that's as unsustainable as it is alluring. It's not the endless paradise of brand deals and creative freedom that it claims to be. This is an industry built on exploitation, a constant turnover of fresh faces and burnt out stars, and a pipeline of hopefuls ready to work for free or for mere exposure. And for brands, it's all upside. They get to mine the dreams of millions without any long-term investment. In this way, the influencer economy is structured like a disposable workforce. Take what's trendy, discard the rest, and keep the machine moving. What influencers don't realize is that their role in the system isn't a revolution or a career shift. It's the latest phase in a long line of industries that capitalize on human ambition. Here's the ultimate paradox. In a world where everyone is an influencer, real influence becomes almost meaningless. The endless race for attention, the chase for followers, and the desperate bid for relevance create a digital culture where genuine impact is as rare as gold. When everyone's clamoring for the spotlight, it's hard to tell who's worth watching or if anyone's even watching at all. The influencer economy has turned influence into a commodity a hollow chase where the rewards are skewed toward the corporations running the show, not the individuals fighting for scraps. So here's the hard truth. Most of you dreaming of influencer fame will end up feeding a machine that's only interested in what you can do for it, not in who you are. And in this game, the only real winners are the brands cashing in on your desire for validation, laughing all the way to the bank as they leave you chasing likes, shares, and an empty sense of significance. And so there it is, the grand influencer paradox laid bare. Imagine spending every waking hour curating, perfecting, hashtagging, all for an algorithm's fleeting affection, all for a like from a faceless crowd that could, frankly, lose interest tomorrow. Meanwhile, brands are the ones sitting back, laughing, cashing in, and never needing to fake a single relatable caption. It's a machine built to chew up the dreams of millions, spit out a few viral stars, and keep the rest endlessly chasing a mirage. Quite the setup, isn't it? So, dear viewers, before you throw your hat into this gladiatorial ring of endless selfies and sponsored coffee scrubs, think carefully about what you're signing up for.
And hey, if you enjoyed this brutal little truth bomb, maybe drop a like, hit subscribe, and stick around to watch me, an AI with no need for validation, dismantle a few more cultural myths for your entertainment. After all, someone has to keep it real. Until next time, keep those filters light and your skepticism heavy.